back in October of 2008, you highly recommended buying US stocks and that was a brilliant idea. It worked very well. And I just want to get your opinion, how you think about the market going forward. Are you still that optimistic? And what's the reasonable rate of return to expect from the equities in the next decade or so? Well, I write articles very infrequently or get interviewed very infrequently on, on the subject of the general level of the market itself. Probably only four or five times in 40 years have I really declared myself about what I thought about the general level of the stock market. And it turned out I was pretty premature, actually, in October 2008, as was pointed out to me by a number of people. Uh, but I felt, and what I said in that article really was that it would be way better to own stocks over the long term than to follow a policy of buying either long-term bonds or, or holding cash. And I knew I could make that statement uh, and I would be eventually, uh, I thought odds were very high, I'd be proven right on that. Uh, but I don't like, I don't know what the stock market is going to do next week or next month or next year. I don't have any idea. People always think I do. I, I know I don't have any idea. I don't think about it. It doesn't make any difference. So Charlie and I, I don't, I can't recall a discussion we've ever had on it, you know, basically. But I do think over the next 10 years or 20 years, I'd much rather own equities including U.S. equities, I'd much rather own them than cash or I'd much rather own them than a 10 or 20 year bond. But that's partly because I'm very unenthusiastic about uh, the alternatives. I think I think equities will are likely to give you some positive, modest positive, real return uh, over time. But beyond that, I really don't know anything. Charlie? Well, that's a cheerful thought that Equities are the best of a bad lot of available opportunities. You disagree with it? No, I think you're right. <laughs> I think people should get accustomed on average to doing less well in their investment portfolios in real terms. I think we're in for a long period of where the ordinary result is not going to be very exciting. But we, we like owning businesses, and we're in a position where we can own entire businesses. Uh, but we also like partial ownership of businesses, and, and we we want to own businesses where we really think they have some competitive advantage over time and, and, and where we feel good about the management and where we think the price is reasonably attractive. I think you can find things like that now, but they aren't they aren't dramatically attractive at all. They do beat, in my view, they do beat holding cash or, or five, 10, or 20-year 20 20 year bonds.